Hello and welcome to Mix and Jam, a channel about game development and experimentation. Today's project is inspired by Luigi's Mansion. Capturing the ghost in this game is a very satisfying mechanic, and the animations add a lot of personality to the game. So I thought it would be a good idea to try building a similar effect using Unity. So here are the steps I needed to follow for this recreation. Implement a similar gameplay logic for the ghost capture. Figure out how to set some animations especially for the ghosts. And add some final assets, particles and effects. For this project, I'm using Jamo, the Mixing Jam character. Jamo's download package already includes some scripts and animations, but since this project is inspired in a game with Luigi as a protagonist, I decided to download a more scared and nervous walking animation on Mixamo. For the mechanic itself, I started experimenting with some object hierarchy. An easy approach I found to replicate this action is by making the ghost a child of the player when the capture begins. This way, the ghost rotates with the player. With that in mind, I worked on a script that shows a random angle and made the player interpolate its rotation based on it. I also added a bit of forward movement to simulate the ghost trying to escape the capture. In the game, you drain energy from the ghost by pulling the joystick towards the opposite direction it is facing. To implement that, I calculated the angle between the character's forward direction and the player's input axis. If the angle between them is greater than 130 degrees, I apply movement on the character in the opposite direction with half the speed, to make it look like the character is trying to pull the ghost back. This also drains the ghost energy depending on how close the angle is from 180 degrees. Apart from the amazing keyframe animation work in this game, there is a lot of procedural motion to make the movement feel more responsive. By adding the animation rigging package to my project, I was able to start testing some constraints to blend in with some animations. I started by adding a two-bone constraint to Jamo's right hand. This way, I can set a target for the hand's position while it blends with the character's animation. I figured it would be cool to replace Jamo's hand with an object that would be responsible for both the vacuum and flashlight functionalities. The cool thing about the animation rigging package is that I can set multiple types of rigs and blend between them. In this case, I prepared a rig for the flashlight pose and another one for when the ghost is being captured, composed of four IK constraints and one rotation controller. There's also another constraint called the dampen transform, and I really wanted to try using this one for the ghost. This constraint basically interpolates position and rotation of a hierarchy of objects to make the movement look super smooth. Omni from the Curomatic channel gave me a big help with the creation of a ghost model. He's part of the super talented team that created Jamo, so definitely check out their work. He prepared the model with two types of skeletons. One that starts from the tail, and another one that starts from the chest. That's because when adding the dampen transform constraint to both of them, it shows that the tail skeleton version is much better for the capture animation while the chest version is really good for an idle motion. However, if I only use that constraint, the ghost would wobble in a very weird way. So I added some extra constraints to make the chest and head always face forward. I also took the chance to set up IK for both hands and animate their controllers using keyframes. I did a similar setup for the idle skeleton. So now I was able to swap the ghost versions by making one skeleton replicate the other's movement. I also did a rig setup that posed the ghost for when it gets done. I started creating the main particle effect for the capture. This uses the velocity over lifetime property, which I can set a radial velocity and a bit of offset to make the particles converge into a single point. I 
I did some shader work for the ghost material using Shader Graph. And I also followed some tutorials for extra shaders, like the volumetric light effect from Mr. Tree Pie for the flashlight, and the tornado effect from Hovel Studio for the vacuum capture. I also implemented some extra animations like the body rotation of the character based on the capture precision. For some final touches, I added a bit of post-processing like bloom, depth of field and all sorts of effects, and also a UI element that indicates the ghost energy. And after some final touches, here's the result. If you're interested on checking the source code and downloading the project, there's a link for the project's repository on the description below. Mix and Jam videos are made possible by everyone helping out on Patreon, including these top tier supporters. To support more videos like this, please subscribe and share this video with friends. And thank you so much for watching.